Hi there, welcome to another computer tutoring tutorial. Bit of a mouthful that, isn't it? This time we're going to have a look at scheduling assistance within Outlook 2016. So when you have to book an appointment, and particularly when you have to book a meeting, you might want to use this tool. So how do we use this? So firstly, make sure you're in Outlook, particularly Outlook 2016. That's the tool I'm using uh, for this tutorial. What I'd like you to do is that we're going to go to Calendar at the bottom and we're going to choose a particular appointment. So today's date is Tuesday the 12th of June, so I can see this date here. I can go to different dates here and a week view. So if I go to my work week, and I need to set an appointment for next week, so if I go to next week here um, and I have a quick look, I'm on the beach on Tuesday. Yeah, I need to squeeze a meeting in lasting on, on Monday, so just after the dentist when I get back, half past three. So I'm just going to click on this meeting here, this half an hour slot. Uh, in fact, if I want it from three, I can drag down a couple like so, and then I can click on new meeting at the top here, and it's ready to uh, send a meeting invitation out, which is fantastic. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to send, uh, uh, I need to work um, out who's going to come to this meeting. So before I start, I mean, I can write the subject. So this one here is a sales meeting, and then my agenda would be down here at the bottom. Uh, if I go to format text, I can click on bullet lists as well and say, you know, review last meeting minutes and then uh, targets for the future and etc. We'll type in different agenda items there. So let's just go back to the meeting tab here at the top. We're going to click on scheduling assistant. And at the moment, I'm the only one in the meeting. My name is Lenny. Uh, Lenny for Lenovo, Len the Lenovo there. So what I need to do is add attendees. So I can click if I know the name exactly, I can click here and I can type a name in the list. So I've got Nelly here. Uh, if I press enter, I can add the name in. If I look very closely, it doesn't seem to recognize it fully. So what I can do is if I just undo that one is click at this button just at the bottom, the add attendees button. I like that button, it allows me to add more attendees, uh, allows me access to the global address book. Here we go. So I'm just going to add in my address uh, addresses here. So let's say, for instance, I want to add in uh, Nelly. So here we go, add Nelly to the meeting. I'll add in Piglet, I'll add in Mickey, and also Bugs for Bugs Bunny. So there's, the, there's required here. I've also got optional items as well, so I can decide, you know what? I need to also have Beauty, as in Beauty and the Beast here, but that's optional. So I'm gonna click on optional just down here. So notice I type beauty, find the name, click on optional. I'm looking for a resource, but I need a flip chart for the meeting, just like the flip chart that's behind me here. So what I'm gonna do is try like, type in the word flip, and there's flip chart, make sure that's highlighted, click on resource, and then I've got the flip chart there, that's good. I can click on okay, and you see it adds all the attendees to the meeting, and I can actually have a look at their diary. As long as you're using exchange, you can see get my teeth in right there. As long as you are using Exchange, you can see other people's diaries. You can have a look at them and see whether they're busy or not. So I can have a look at different appointments. I can click here, click over here, adjust the time. That's good. So what I can also do here is I can add rooms. So I've got rooms option here at the bottom. I can click on add rooms. So I click on the add rooms button. I'll have a list of rooms available. I can then choose the room that I want to list. So if I look down, I think I want to have a conference room. Conference room, and I've got conference room two will do. So I'm just gonna double click on that and click on okay. And it adds a conference room two in here and I can see when it's busy. You know what, it's gonna be hard trying to find an appointment here. I can choose a day, but it looks like I, I'm gonna have to, if I want to use conference room two, I'm going to just have to find a time for that meeting. So what I can do is this, click on this options button here, go down to auto pick, and then across and down to all people and resources. So options, auto pick, all people and resources. You can see that little section there, options auto pick, all people and resources. So if we give that one a click, oh, let me just go back down and do it, auto pick, all people and resources. It will find the next available time slot where the room is free, where the people are free, if I've got access to their diaries, uh, and if the resource is free as well. And I can see this next one here, it's eight o'clock, I can see in the morning. Uh, say for instance, I, you know what, I just need to have the required people. So I click on required people. Um, so all the ones that are required here, 
Uh, well, I've got half past eight, I can go to the next one as well if I want to. Required people, it'll choose the next half hour slot. That's good. If I want to find an earlier time, I can go down to this options list, go auto pick and choose earlier time uh, as well. The other thing that will help as well is there's a new feature, relatively new, it's called Room Finder. Well, it's not that new really, to be honest. It's, but it's just on the right hand side. It needs to be set up with rooms. So if you click on the Room Finder, <coughs> excuse me, uh, you can click on a particular date and you can see if there's any conflicts on a cert, um, yeah, at a certain time. So I can have a look and I can see, oh, there's a conflict here. Bugs Bunny has a room booked uh, with an appointment at that particular time. If I go down here, I can see Bugs Bunny also has a room booked at that time. Also Piglet and Mickey have rooms booked at that time. There's be a little conflict going on there. So that'd be difficult to be able to book that room. So the idea with Room Finder is you can have a list of rooms and you can find which room is available for you. So I hope this helps. Um, what we basically do afterwards is go to the appointment, just make sure all the details are filled in. We can see the rooms over here uh, and then we click on send and then the meeting gets sent out. It then gets placed in the diary and then the people will then accept or reject a certain meeting appointment, um, letting me know if they can attend the meeting or not. So that's just how to use the scheduling assistant within Outlook 2016. Uh, there'll be many more tutorials to come with us at Computer Tutoring, so please subscribe. Please give this a good old thumbs up, like it if you've got anything out of this. And one last thing, thank you so much for watching.